Yo, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So today we got another Pokemon Sword and Shield trailer and the first thing I usually do when I wake up is hop on Twitter for some news. Uh, seen a whole bunch of screenshots for the Pokemon trailer so we are going to go ahead and watch it. We have it, re we have it here on screen so let's see what's really good. Alright, we got the starters. Yeah, they see this. New battle strategies. Got wheezing ability neutralizing gas. They actually didn't show wheezing's ability before. What? Goodbye, Gastrodon. What storm drain? Oh, it also affects your ally. Oof. What? That's so good. Held item. Room service. That's trick room. Lowers the Pokemon speed during trick room. Wow. New held item. Eject pack. The Pokemon switches out if it's that. What? Bruh. I thought they were trying to make the game more balanced. No, I'm just kidding, but that's actually looks really cool. Double attack? Is that like Dragon Tail? Lowers the attack of all targets hit. It didn't say the move. Corvonite's ability. Mirror armor. Reflects any stat lowering effects. What? I hope that works in doubles. I mean, it should. Shrug off moves that cause flinching. Max moves have, uh, yeah, yeah. Electric terrain, obviously. That's wild. That's nuts. That's nuts. So wait, melodic? Okay, we'll get back into it. I saw Aurora Veil or something. Opposing teams are real. Okay. That's crazy. That's crazy. So let's see. We got. Okay. Neutralizing gas. That looks cool. Okay, we know what that does. That's actually awesome. New Hell Item Room Service. Okay, so it's the. Okay, I thought for some reason Snorlax was using the move Room Service or something. After I just saw it was an item. <laughs> I thought it like tossed the item to right barrier. A Jack Pack. A Jack Pack is gonna be so good. I'm thinking of Pokemon with that lose defense and special defense. Like, um. What is it? Superpower. Uh, what's the other one? Okay, so we got Draco Meteor. What's another move? I can't think of another one. At the top of my head, I can't think of another one. Um, there's so many of them. I know there's another fighting type move. It's Superpower and something else. That move is so good, though. Draco Meteor. That's crazy. That's cool, though. I like it. It's really cool. It's definitely going to change things up for sure. The Pokemon switches out if its stats are lowered. That's pretty cool, not going to lie. New move. Oh, Breaking Swipe. Okay. It looks like it's a dragon move. Lowers the attack of all targets hit. That's cool. We I feel like we kind of needed stuff like this. Like, especially when we had Mega Evolutions. The Pokemon were... Not gonna lie, Pokemon were pretty powerful, but it was still cool, like, being able to, you know, Mega Evolve. Having to change uh, abilities, like Neutralizing Gas, that would have been really cool. Um, you know, that'd be, that'd make Weezing a lot more useful, you know, back then with the, the new ability, Neutralizing Gas, 
for Pokemon, for example, like Scizor, you know, Technician, you know, Technician was really good, and Scizor just had, like, heaps amount, really good attack, plus the Technician just made it way too good. A lot, a lot of people would know that too, but, you know, they'll be like, nope, Scizor is still good. <laughs> but, I mean, it's cool. I mean, you go for, for whatever you like, you know. Caesar was usually on every every team, and just in general a strong bug overall. But I like this move, breaking swipe, mirroring armor. This is very good too. I mean, it should be able to work for doubles. That way, but the thing is with mirroring move, like if you have a Corviknight, it's gonna be too predictable, you know. I don't remember a Corviknight's um, first ability. Or whichever one was revealed first, but I feel like it's, it'll be too predictable, you know. Well, it depends. So it's like who's gonna use, you know, unless you know, like your opponent has like an Arcanine or something with Intimidate, then that's like when you know when to switch, you know. People are gonna be playing a lot much more safe for sure with having Arcanine on another team or any Pokemon with Intimidate if you're. If the player has Corviknight, I mean it's not much of a big deal, but it's cool. But I guess this is where, dang, so you could actually lose your item too. So like, let's say for example, um, Sobble had the the new item, which one was it? Eject Pack or something like that. So let's say he, yeah, he had a new item, and Corviknight uses the uh, ability, you pretty much just lose your item, and you get it, the Pokemon switches out. I mean, it could benefit too, like to gain momentum again. I like it, it's pretty good, pretty neat, pretty sick. Um, Dynamax power, Booty Cola use Fake Out, okay, that's neat too. I just want to know how strong these moves are going to be, because if this is replacing uh, Z moves, then what the heck, unless it's just for secondary effects then. I don't really care. Like, I'm starting to get used to how big these Pokemon are. I, like, that's the only thing that affected me at first. So, Machamp gets attack. Okay, so this is like, what? Blizzard... Dynamax or something? For the secondary effect, Hail gets activated, and then we see Aurora Veil on Frostlass. I don't think Frostlass was able to learn Aurora Veil. I think, yeah, I think the only Pokemon that got Aurora Veil is um, Vulpix and, and Ninetales, Alolan, right? At the top of my head, that's 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 all I remember. I'm pretty sure there's another one, but a lot of people used Ninetales and Vulpix, which was, you know, very common, commonly used, very popular Pokemon to use, because um, you pretty much got the free hail with Snow Warning, and, you know, pretty obvious. But, yeah, I think Frostlass got hail, or Aura Veil, which is cool. That's pretty good synergy right there. And then we have, what is this, like, Hurricane or Brave Bird Z move or Dynamax. The opposing teams were about wear off. Okay, so that I don't know if like Corviknight secondary effect with whatever that was for the uh, Dynamax move, it gets rid of the Aura Veil, kind of like you know, Brick Break. It got rid of Reflect uh, screens and stuff. But so far, so good. Man. I, I, I don't know. I, I like it. This is dope. This is dope. This is neat. Let's see if we got anything. Oh, we didn't get anything on here. Okay. Okay, so this was just a trailer. Alright, GG's. We're gonna cover up some of these other videos. Or actually, let's check out the features right now. And then we'll, we'll just cover up the other, um, the one in the middle. Um, let's see. Okay, check out all the new features that will make Pokemon battles even more exciting. Dynamax and Max Moves. Oh, so Dynamax, okay, Max Moves. Dynamax Phenomenon not only makes Pokemon huge, it can also give them a boost in power Dynamax and your Pokemon can sway the course of the battle that move that max moves that only Dynamax Pokemon can use aren't just powerful either. They all have impressive additional effects. Alright, so we see Melodic going for the water type max move, Max Geyser. It will trigger the rain weather condition. This is definitely gonna change things up. Um for sure. Like it's it's cool. Like it's like you you don't you don't get a new Pokemon with a new ability now. 
it you, you get more than one ability. Uh, well, technically more than two abilities depending on which Pokemon you use um, the max move with. So melodic, you know, going for the max geyser. Usually melodic is either competitive. Ooh, that'd be actually really good. So melodic competitive. You know, you get your stats lowered by Arcanine. You get uh, increase in special attack, and then you set up the rain. Or not just competitive. I think it's um. What's the other move it gets? No, it, it increases defense. Never mind. I was thinking of that. Um, I think it's no, it's not gooey. Hydration. There you go. So it's not just that. Um, but that's really good synergy right there. You set up the rain, and you know, scald hydro pump. Just do heaps amount of damage. I'm pretty sure the rain will last for five turns, not for the entirety of the um, Dynamax form, which would only be three turns, but. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Machamp. Use Max Knuckle. And then punches right you. It gets attack boost. Fighting type Max Move Knuckle will increase the attack of an allied Pokemon as well. Whoa, what? An allied Pokemon as well. What? Jesus. This is actually really good too. Obviously, it's pretty obvious for Pokemon that have uh, mainly increased attack or already with the benefit of uh, beneficial nature like adamant um having that pokemon off to the side and then increasing his attack but this will be really good too for pokemon that have mixed natures that need just a little bit of boost in their attack depending on the pokemon that's on the other side of the field um for sure when it comes to like something super effective but it seems doable okay let's see even if an opponent uses a move like protect a max move will still blast through it and deal some damage the opposing dreadnought couldn't fully protect itself got hurt dude rip uh what is it clanging scales <laughs> dude this man <laughs> this pokemon only had a chance to shine for ultra uh, let's see, Flygon, we got all status moves used by a Dynamax Pokemon become Max Guard, which can pr even protect against other Max moves. Okay, that's neat. Uh, let's see. Dynamaxing and held items. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, you'll be able to Dynamax any Pokemon in the Galar region, so as long as the Dynamax ban, there's no need to have the Pokemon hold a special item. This means that you can choose which one of your Pokemon Dynamax depending on what's happening in the battle. You can even have your own Pokemon hold items that boost their offenses so they can unleash max moves that are even more powerful. Alright, sick. That is sick. Okay, let's see. We have new abilities will be, will be appearing in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, many new abilities have been discovered in Pokemon Sword and Shield. The ability of Galarian Wheezing Neutralizing Gas is one such ability. This ability neutralizes the ongoing effects of other Pokemon's abilities and even prevents abilities from being triggered. Wow. Okay, so we see Galarian Wheezing will fill the area with neutralizing gas when it enters the battlefield. Once the Pokemon with neutralizing gas leaves the battlefield, abilities of the Pokemon will activate again. What? Okay, I thought it was just like whatever Pokemon's on the field, you know, as long as Weezing's on the field, abilities won't be able to be used. And wow. If Weezing goes down, abilities are activated. Cool. That's that's nice. Here are the two new items, room service and a jack pack. There are new items available in Pokemon Sword and Shield that will broaden the strategies you can use in Pokemon Battles. These include items that can combo with specific moves to give you on the edge in battles like room service and eject button. So we've pretty much seen um, in the trailer of how this works. Um, we got room service as long as the Pokemon is holding um, the item, um, the holder will lose, the holder will drop speed. Um, when Trick Room is successfully used. Oh, it's when Trick Room, my bad. So when a, po a health Pokemon room service will lower the holder speed when the, tr the move Trick Room is successfully used. Okay, there we go. So Trick Room 
activates room, um, room service. Neat. Wait, uh, okay, so I'm thinking Galarian Weezing. Does that affect Mimikyu too? That's a real question right there. <laughs> um, okay, so we see Eject Pact. When a Pokemon holding a Eject Pact and any stats lowered, it would immediately switch out so you can send an, uh, any other Pokemon from your team. You gotta love it. I feel like people are gonna, people are definitely gonna use this, and it's gonna be wild. It, it's a it's a useful item. It's it's a really good item. It, it's really good. Like, could you imagine your opponent switching in? I guess the only way it wouldn't have worked is if you know it's immune. Like for example, you know, uh, Duraludon going for Trick Media on a Fairy type, then it's a free switch in for the Fairy type, kind of, since Duraludon is a what is it? Did they reveal Duraludon Steel Dragon, right? Something like that. Well, depending on the uh, the, the the effect or the type, you know, if it's super effective or not, Duraludon is safe to be in the battlefield. Um, but that's the way, only way it'll it won't activate. As long as it doesn't use a move that'll drop his uh, attack attack stats, then you should be good to go. Um, well, actually, too. Wow, this actually would work. If you send out Arcanine into Duraludon, does it neutralize? Not neutralize. See, I'm getting caught up with Weezing. Does it affect it from not going that turn? So, for example, let's say I have I have Duraludon. My opponent has okay Tyranitar, and then you're like, oh crap, it's probably going to use Draco Meteor. Let me switch out into Arcanine so I can lower its its attack stat because you know it has the eject pack right so does that Pokemon not get a chance to use the move Draco Meteor okay well there you have it I feel like that's how you <laughs> you counter um, the item eject pack tick it says when a Pokemon holding a jet pack has any of its stats lowered it will immediately switch out so another thing that could work is sticky web if that's in the game I don't recall sticky web it comes in it's gonna switch out immediately nuts I like it it's just really good that you can counter like you have the counters already like at the top of your head nice intimidate it's getting better I like it GG's that's gonna be it for the video thank you guys for watching I'm, I'm liking it so far I was a little bit concerned about <laughs> how strong these Pokemon were going to be. I mean, we still haven't fully seen like the stats. Um, it might just be a visual where the Pokemon just get extremely big for no reason. But, geez, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.